Listen to this sound. Do you know what it is? Of course, it's an ice cream van. The driver plays a tune to let you know he's ready to sell his ice cream. People hear the tune and hurry to buy an ice. They must take great care when they cross the road. There's a machine in the van. The ice cream man pulls the handle and fills the cornet with soft ice cream. Let's find out how ice cream is made at a factory. To start, we need milk powder and sugar. There's the milk powder being emptied into a big tank. And there's the sugar. There's water in the tank. When the machine's switched on, the water, milk powder and sugar are mixed together. We need fat to make ice cream too. The blocks of fat are cut into pieces. Then they're added to the mixture in the tank. The fat must be melted so that it will mix with the other things. The man turns a handle and hot steam goes into the tank to melt the fat. It takes between 20 and 30 minutes for everything in the tank to be mixed thoroughly. Then it's heated again to sterilise it and then cooled down once more. At this stage it looks more like creamy milk that we could drink. These plastic bottles are being filled with liquid ice cream. To turn it into ice cream, the liquid is put into a machine like the one in an ice cream van. At the factory, there's a tank full of strawberry ice cream. And here's a tank of vanilla ice cream. A cooling machine starts to freeze the liquid. Now the strawberry and vanilla ice cream can be joined together. Let's visit another factory where they make chalk ices. They start in the same way by mixing everything in a big tank. Vanilla flavouring helps to bring out the flavour of the ice cream. This is the machine that cools the ice cream and starts to freeze it. Now look what happens to it. The ice cream is being chopped into blocks.
the blocks of ice cream drop onto a conveyor. The conveyor carries them into a special room where it's very, very cold. It's called the freezing chamber. The ice cream blocks are soft when they come into the freezing chamber. The cold air inside the chamber freezes the blocks. It takes 12 to 14 minutes for the ices to pass through the freezing chamber. When they come out, they are frozen solid. The frozen ice creams are stuck to the conveyor. A hammer taps the bottom of the conveyor to loosen the ice creams. Now they can be picked up by mechanical arms. The mechanical arms carry them to another conveyor belt. Let's see how hard the ice cream blocks are. Do you like chalk ices? That's what they're making at this factory. Next, the ice cream blocks are covered with liquid chocolate. The chocolate is warm, so the ice creams go into another machine to cool down the chocolate. When they come out the other end, they're ready to be wrapped. There's a big roll of paper on the wrapping machine. It has a pattern on one side. The machine wraps the paper around the chalk ices and cuts it. When they're wrapped and sealed, the pattern is on the outside. Finally, the chalk ices are packed in boxes. There are ten in each box. Listen to the sound of the machine. Do you know what would happen if the ice creams were left in a warm place? They'd melt, wouldn't they? So they're kept in a huge cold store until they're sent to the shops to be sold. What's your favourite ice cream? What do you say? You're going to enjoy yours, Paul? Looks a bit missing, doesn't it, but... It's short of none, it doesn't need to... Let Mummy have some. No. <laughs> 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 <laugh